So here we have the Mini Countryman on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with those black alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with those three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. We have the rev counter, as you can see, the digital readout for the speedometer. And then beneath that, you can see the total miles for this car. They are 89,304. You can change information displayed directly above that using a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have our phone and stereo controls, and then cruise control over on the right-hand side just here. In the center, you'll find the main speedometer, the fuel gauge, and then our uh, radio uh, and uh, media options down here. So if we press uh, mode, we have AM, FM radio, DAB radio, CD player, auxiliary input, and USB input as well. Under menu, you can pair up your phone. We have our onboard computer. You can configure things like, for example, the time, if uh, the clocks go forwards and back, you can change that there. And we even have a section with useful phone numbers for mini customer services, as you can see. Main volume for the stereo is just here. Beneath that, we have the CD player and then the climate control. You can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in once it enters the vehicle. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the uh, fan speed for you and the direction of the air as well. Press auto again, and you go back to whatever settings you had that on previously. We have front and rear fog lights. You can put the car into sport mode from here. You can deadlock the doors so you can lock them from the outside. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system's off when that light shows. You can also turn off your traction control as well. Uh, we have a six speed manual gearbox and then our auxiliary and USB inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.